David HaMelech compares the sweetness of Taira to honey. Hanechemadim mizav umipazrav umesukim midvash v'noifes tufim. The Taira is sweeter than honey, more delectable than the honeycomb. Likewise, Shlomo HaMelech says the Torah is compared to milk and honey. Dvash v'chalav tachas l'shaynech. The Chavetz Chaim offers remarkable explanation. What is the analogy? What is the comparison between the Torah and honey? It says the Chavetz Chaim in his introduction to Sefer Likutei Halachais. Honey seems like a rather innocuous food, but it is powerful. It is potent. The powerful sweetness of honey is such that if a piece of bread would fall into honey and it would spend enough time in that honey, it would completely disintegrate. Furthermore, even if a slab of meat would fall in honey, it would completely disintegrate and decompose in the honey. To the extent, says the Chavetz Chaim, if a treif piece of meat, if a piece of meat that is not kosher falls into honey, the power of the honey is so strong that it will transform that piece of meat into honey and you would be allowed to eat it. You hear that? You could have a tray piece of meat if it falls in honey. The transformative power of honey is such that it can transform even a tray piece of meat into honey itself. So too, says the Chavetz Chaim. That is the power of Torah. You could have someone who's rotten to the core, bad character, bad personality. If they immerse in Torah, the power of honey is such that it will transform the person into someone who is righteous. Says the Chafetz Chaim, this is what it means in Perkei Yavais, Umachshartoi Liyais Tzadik. The Torah literally transforms a person to become righteous. That is the transformative power of the sweetness of Torah.